Hello and welcome to Crypto Demos. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can stake your ontology coins to the Sesame Seed node on the ontology blockchain using O Wallet, which is ontology's official desktop wallet. Now, what is Sesame Seed? Sesame Seed is a multi blockchain community created to support its members by providing fair and transparent representation and delegated governance. Sesame Seed accomplishes this by maintaining a reputation of upholding its core values of community transparency and privacy. And you can get more information on what is Sesame Seed, what is the Seed token, how do you earn Seed tokens, and so on, on their frequently asked questions area of the sesameseed.org website, which can be found in the description of this video. Now, before we get into it, I just want to let you know that Sesame Seed is not the best paying node on the Ontology blockchain right now. It's actually the second best paying node, but it's much better than any of the Ontology's foundation's uh, consensus nodes, right? Now, Movie Block is the best paying node, and I have done a demo on that, so do check that out in the description of the video. But when all the tokens have been distributed to the stakers, which should be in a couple of months, then Sesame Seed is going to be the best paying node. So hence why I'm actually doing a demo showing you how you can stake to Sesame Seed as an alternative. And let's go straight into O Wallet. But before we do that, I just want to let you know if you're new to this channel, my name is Claudio and this is Cryptoschain, the channel where I do crypto news reviews, tutorials and interviews. So please make sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe and enable notifications to not miss the next video I upload that may interest you. So once you log in here to the O Wallet, you should be able to create a wallet, right? Because if you don't have the wallet, of course you cannot stake anything, right? So we're assuming that you already have a wallet here. And if you're not sure how to create a wallet, please check my tutorial on how to create a wallet using a wallet on the Ontology blockchain in the description of the video. It should also pop up on the top right hand corner of the screen, depending on which social media platform you're watching this on. So once you go into the main page here, uh, you should be able to see the wallet connected here. You may have a ledger. If you have a ledger, that's fine. You can just connect to the ledger. In this case, it's just a standard wallet that I've created for this test. You go to the bottom left-hand corner where you see the DAPS section. You'll get a notification to say that Ontology are not liable, of course, for the third-party DAPS, and you should be liable for that. Uh, but they do uh, do their due diligence on them, okay? So they do know that these uh, DAPS are good. They're functional, they're not uh, trying to scam you or anything like that, but it's just something to keep in mind that you should still be careful anyway. You go to the Sesame Seed section, you select the wallet, you click next, and here we're in the stake authorization page. So what you can do is you can submit a new stake, and the good thing about Sesame Seed is that they allow you to stake as little as one ONT. Now, it doesn't make much sense to stake one ONT, right? What is the point of that? The rewards are just sold so little. But because on the other nodes you need 500 ONT to stake, let's say you have 400 and you can't afford to buy 100 more, then you can stake 400. So the rewards are better for that, right? So that is an option. You click submit, you enter the wallet's password and you click OK and you're done. Okay, so you go back here and what happens is the total authorized stake should show uh, over here, right? So it will show you the amount that you've got and you can cancel the stake, of course. Uh, but if you want to cancel the stake, just keep in mind that if you've already got a round running at the moment when your stake has been authorized, you need to wait until the end of the round and until the new round starts. When the new round starts, within 24 hours, you're going to get your uh, ONT back from the node, right? That's what they're going to do. Now, I think that there is some kind of manual intervention, to be honest, on their side. I'm not 100% sure on that if they automate the whole process, but I know that I had some problems in the past when I was staking and I was trying to cancel the stake before the new round started. It took a little bit longer than 24 hours, so it could have been just a bug in the system or something. But that got sorted very quickly. Now, let's go back here and kind of show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean by actual rounds. Now, so here, as you can see right, right now at the moment of doing this video, which is 19th of April 2020, we're in round 78. OK, so it tells us it shows us the progress of how, how many blocks are left until we go into the new round. So as we can see, 29,681 blocks are left, six days and one hours left in estimate time, right? Because this could change very quickly as each block on the ontology blockchain takes 30 seconds to complete if there are no transactions and one second if there are any kind of transactions in that specific block, right? So very, very fast. If a lot of transactions take place, then of course, this will break through it very, very rapidly. So you won't even have the chance to stake as it will already go into round 79, right? This happened before to other people. Now, so if you were to stake 
right now, for example, when will you be getting the seed rewards? Now, that's one of the questions you may be asking yourself. Well, if you do that, you need to wait until round 79 begins, which is in roughly six days. And when that happens, then you're going to start getting bigger seed rewards every single day. Well, they actually send the seed tokens to your wallet, which you'll be able to find here. Let's go into the wallet. You will be able to find here in the seed section, okay? Every single day. Now, even though the new round has not started yet, you will still be getting seed rewards. Just gonna be much less. So hence why it's actually a good idea to wait until closer to the end of the round. Okay, that is a bit of a gamble because you don't know how fast the blocks are gonna move, right? If there are many transactions, the, the blocks will move faster. But if you wait until closer to the date, maybe when there's one day left or so, then you're gonna get more out of the rewards, right? Because you're gonna be going into the new round with an authorized stake, and then you're gonna start getting more seed rewards. And on top of that, you'll get some smaller seed rewards for holding seed. So if you hold for more than one day, the second day, you're going to get a bit more uh, in seed rewards. So basically you're gonna get two different transactions from the seed uh, Sesame Seed team. So that is pretty cool. Now let's go back here and kind of show you the rewards that we're talking about. So now if you stake with them for more than 360 days, you get the maximum reward, which is 12% return on your investment per year. Now, of course, that does depend a lot on the price of seed because that fluctuates quite a bit. So of course, the less you do it, the less you get. So 1% for less than seven days. Now, you may be asking yourself, how can you sell seed tokens if you want to get ONG, for example, right? Because the whole purpose of staking most of the time is to get ONG rewards. And because Sesame Seed is the second best paying one, the rewards are really, really good compared to the Ontology Foundations ones, right? So you're going to get more ONG if you sell your seed for ONG than you would if you were to stake with any of those consensus nodes. So that is the reason. And the cool thing is that Sesame Seed have created this decentralized exchange to facilitate this for their users, for their stakers. So here we can see the current price, which of course fluctuates quite a lot. It's 4.6 seed to get one ONG at this price, right? So you can get 104.07 ONG at this price. As soon as you do that, of course, this price is going to change because there aren't that many people maybe that want to sell their ONG uh, for your seed, right? So it all depends on that. It all depends on how much is available, right, in that pot, because this changes quite a lot. This fluctuates quite a lot. We can see the chart here. On some days, there were, you needed six seed to get one ONG. So the ONG value was very valuable. And on some days, even as low as 3.3 .3 seed for one ONG, where the ONG value was not as valuable as the seed token. So of course, that happens too. So that's just something to keep in mind, of course. And uh, that's pretty much it from this video. There isn't much else you need to do in order to stake and receive rewards. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please don't forget to smash the like button and hit subscribe if you're new. Just as a kind reminder, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.